Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about how to calculate manually the AST requirement for main bar and distribution bar for the staircase and also it is required for the ETAB analysis so that we can compile it along with the folder and give it to the municipality. So for that we must need some basic knowledge about staircase so let me start by giving some basic knowledge about this so as we all know this portion <coughs> this portion is called riser and this portion is called trade so let us suppose the riser height of 6 inch and trade of 10 inch and the height of one flight be 9 feet 5 inch this means the height from this top level of landing slab to the plinth level is 9 feet 5 inch <coughs> so to calculate the number to calculate the number of steps we have the flat height divided by riser so we have the flat height is 9 feet 5 inch divided by the riser height is 16 inch so we take it as 19 numbers <coughs> to calculate the number of trade we have formula number of riser minus 1 we may wonder why there is minus 1 so, so let us see in the figure the one of the trade is this landing slab of the staircase so we do not count it as the trade so we deduct this one so the formula becomes the number of riser minus one so we have the number of steps is 19 minus one is 18 numbers so number of trade is 18 numbers generally uh, width of the staircase for residential building is taken <coughs> or it may vary from 3 feet 6 inch to 4 feet in residential buildings and in public buildings or in hospitals uh, it is 5 feet to 6 feet or depend upon the space requirement or the volume requirement of the patients or the number of people so let us calculate the horizontal distance the horizontal distance is the distance from this level to this level <coughs> let me show you this is the horizontal distance and the angle between these is given by alpha so how to calculate the horizontal distance it is given by the number of steps into trade so we have the number of steps is 19 and one trade is of 10 inch so it's 90 <coughs> 190 inch and we all know one feet is equals to two well inch so divide by two well is 16 feet so the our horizontal distance is 16 feet these are the things we should know before the design of our staircase if we talk about our staircase in NBC 2000 <coughs> 205 and 2013 it is also given here so we can clearly see in page number 36 landing beam wall supporting landing beam regular beam The staircase inclined slab depth is 125 mm or our depth of waste slab is 125 mm. Trade and riser height is as per our building plan and width of the staircase is generally taken as 1050 mm and the <coughs> and this stirrups that is used in the beam is 2L type because it has two leg one and two so it is called 2L two leg and the reinforcement arrangement is also given here if you need a further detail about the reinforcement arrangement in staircase <coughs> or the structural analysis of staircase please comment below then I will make another video regarding to this so let us move towards our <coughs> manual calculation of staircase well this is a dog leg staircase and the <coughs> I have managed all these values in proper way so guys if you need this uh, excel sheet then please 
give this video a like share and subscribe if this video will get 5000 likes and more subscribers than the present then i will provide a complete set of autocad drawing e tabs e tab drawing and the manual calculation of slab staircase and foundation so please give this video <coughs> as much like and subscribe as possible so the design of staircase which include fy characteristic strength is 5000 newton per mm square fck <coughs> fck 20 newton per mm square clear cover is 20 mm diameter of let us suppose diameter of main bar is 10 mm and generally diameter of distribution bar is 8 mm we can change this diameter of distribution bar in this case we have taken our trade to be 0 0.25 meter trade 0 0.25 meter rise 0 0.178 0 0.178 and 0 0.25 meter so the thickness of waste slab is given by thickness of waste slab is 4 inch 0 0.10 meter and the width of slab is 0 0.920 and width of landing we can <coughs> obtain this value from the AutoCAD so in the second step it is load calculation and here I have calculated all the load needed for the calculation of our staircase area of slab area of steps as you can see dead load, load finish, live load, factor load and load per meter and load on the landing calculation of moments depth calculation of main steels and distribution steel so the spacing provided is 150 mm center to center for the main bar and the distribution bar the spacing is 200 mm center to center and uh, diameter of 10 mm is taken as is taken for both uh, main steel and distribution steel I have also provided <coughs> the value for shear force to check whether our design staircase fails in shear or not in this case it is safe in shear and the development length also it is safe and the check for deflection also I have done a complete set of all possible information for you so guys please if you want this excel sheet then please give as much share as you want and as I have said earlier if this video will get 5000 views then I will provide a complete set of I mean a complete set of AutoCAD ETAB and Excel sheets of slab staircase and uh, foundation so please share as much as you can and thanks for watching